What's up, dirt junkies? Winter is here, which means you need a good sleeping pad to insulate you from the ground to sleep well in the backcountry. But who wants to spend $200 for a sleeping pad? Not this guy. So I found two budget winter sleeping pads and decided to put them to the test. Stick around and I'll give you the details of both of the pads, tell you the results of my tests, and tell you which one is my favorite. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I am super excited about this video to share my thoughts on both of these pads. I'm not affiliated with either of the companies and I'm not paid or compensated in any way for this review, but I wanted to be upfront about the fact that I got this pad for free and I paid for this one, but I promise it's not going to impact my review. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I am cheap. If you're new here, then you should just know that going in. I like good quality gear, but I do not like to pay too much for it. So. Getting into winter backpacking, while I knew I needed to pay a little bit more for a winter sleeping pad, I was not going to pay hundreds of dollars for something to sleep on. I feel like I should be able to find something that's comfortable and warm for less than $100. So I did some research on Amazon and found a few pads that I felt like could do the trick. I decided to try out these two sleeping pads, the Pariah Recharge XL and the Gear Doctors Apollo Air. Both are touted as four season sleeping pads that should do just fine in the winter conditions that I'll be encountering on my backpacking trips. But let me tell you about each of these sleeping pads so you know what you're getting into. The first thing we'll talk about is the size of the sleeping pad, the length, the width, and even the height. This is something you might not think about and just assume that sleeping pads come in sort of a one size fits all, but that is definitely not the case. I'd recommend trying a few to see what kind of length and width you're most comfortable with. The length and width on these two is definitely different. The Pariah Recharge XL is rectangular in shape. It's 75 inches long and 23 inches wide. The Sleep Doctor's Apollo Air is a little bit shorter at 72 inches tall, 23 inches wide at its widest point, but it is not rectangular in shape and is only 19 inches wide at its narrowest point towards the feet. Just to show you the difference in these, I took a picture of the Apollo Air on top of the Recharge XL so that you can see how different they are in length, width, and just overall shape. The next thing that's important in talking about the dimensions is the height. The Recharge XL comes in at four inches tall, whereas the Apollo Air is listed at 3.2 inches tall. I measured at about 3.5. Suffice it to say, the Recharge XL is a little bit thicker than the Apollo Air. I think it's also important to talk about the material that both are made out of. The Recharge XL is made of a 40D ripstop nylon, and the Apollo Air is also made of a 40D nylon. So fairly similar materials in the construction on the outside of these sleeping pads. Next, let's talk about weight. If you're looking for a backpacking sleeping pad while you want something that will keep you warm, we all know that winter gear can get heavy and those grams and ounces add up quick. So it's important to strike the right balance between something that will keep you warm and something that is light enough that you can actually carry on your back. The Recharge XL comes in at about 26 ounces. It's a little bit longer, a little bit wider and has some insulation. So that adds to the overall weight of the sleeping pad. The Gear Doctors Apollo Air comes in significantly less at just 17 ounces or about 480 grams, which is a significant weight savings over the Recharge XL. Next up, insulation. You want your winter sleeping pad to be a nice barrier between your warm body and the cold ground when you're sleeping in your tent. The Recharge XL has what they call a high loft synthetic microfiber insulation. So basically, rather than just being a 40D nylon shell that holds air, there's also some additional synthetic insulation material in there to help insulate your body from the cold ground. For the Gear Doctors Apollo Air, I sent them a message and asked what they used within the sleeping pad to really insulate you from the ground. Their response was that they use two different things to insulate you from the ground. The first is the thick material that the pad is made out of, a 40D nylon, and then they also indicate that within the pad is a coating material that they call a TPU composite that they say has some thermal properties. Based on their response and the weight of the pad, it doesn't sound like there's really any insulation to speak of, but rather that the fabric and the materials that the pad are made out of are supposed to insulate you from the ground. Related to insulation is the R value of a sleeping pad. If you are looking for a winter sleeping pad, you need to understand what R value is. Essentially, sleeping pads can submit for standard testing where what they do is they put a warm plate on one side of the sleeping pad and then a cold plate on the other side and then they measure how much energy it takes to keep this plate warm. There's a super interesting video put out by Thermarest
podcast, I think, that explains this whole process and you can even see how it works. I'll put a link to that video up here and also below in the description. Basically what it is, is a measure of how well the pad will insulate you from the ground. Our values typically range from less than two to over seven. For a winter sleeping pad, you really want something that has an R value of at least four. And depending how cold of conditions you're going in, you may need it much higher than that. The R value of the Recharge XL is 4.7 and the R value of the Apollo Air is 5.2. But it's important to note that both of those R values are actually estimated. They were not obtained under that standard test that I was just telling you about. It's called ATSM testing. So because these pads did not undergo that standard ATSM testing, I asked both companies how they got the R values for their sleeping pads. I wasn't able to find the information for the Recharge XL on their website, so I actually asked a question on Amazon whether anybody knew if the pad had been ASTM tested. Pariah Outdoor Products actually responded to the question, and what they said is, unfortunately, we have not carried out ASTM testing on our sleeping pads. However, we have reviewed the testing methods and results from other manufacturers and expect that our values to be fairly similar to the current values. They said there may be a half a point difference between their estimate and the score it would receive through the standardized testing, but they feel comfortable with their estimated R value of 4.7. Given the materials that are constructed of and the insulation that's included, as well as the tests I've done, I would say that the R value 4.7 is fairly accurate. As far as the Gear Doctor's Apollo Air, I asked them how they determine an R value of 5.2. What they said is that they use a laser flash method. Essentially, they heat the front side of the pad and then they have some sensors to determine how much heat is lost from one side of the pad to the other. But it's only measured in one spot on the pad, whereas the standard ASTM testing is measured in three spots. Okay, a few more quick things we wanna talk about before we get to the test results. And the first is the baffling, or essentially how the pad is constructed. If you've slept on a sleeping pad before, you realize that it's not just one big balloon of air. They have a baffling system that really helps hold the pad together and makes it feel like you're not just sleeping on one big balloon. It makes it so that when you shift your weight to one side, it doesn't completely blow up the other side of the pad. So the baffling system within a sleeping pad is really important. This is the Recharge XL, but both of these pads use a horizontal baffling system. For me personally, I prefer this horizontal baffling system. I think it's really comfortable. I will Will say that I think that the Recharge XL does a little bit better job of that. Now, before we get to the next point, take a quick second, go down to the comments and let me know either A, what winter sleeping pad you're using currently, or B, what other sleeping pads you're considering. I would love to know what you're using or what you're thinking about buying. All right. On to the next point. The next thing we should talk about is the sound that the sleeping pads make when you're sleeping on them. I know that this is a big deal. There's a lot of pads out there that get a bad rap because even though they're super comfortable, people will say it sounds like you're laying on a bag of Fritos trying to go to sleep. The Recharge XL is definitely a little bit quieter. than the Apollo Air from Gear Doctors. Trust me, after sleeping on them, the Gear Doctors definitely has a little bit of that potato chip bag sound, whereas the Recharge XL is quieter. Another thing to be aware of on your sleeping pads is the valve system. There's a few different types of valve systems and it's important because that's how you blow your sleeping pad up. The Recharge XL has a very simple valve system. Essentially, you open the valve and then there's just sort of a rubbery flap within the valve that will be pushed open when you're blowing air into the sleeping pad. And then as the air is trying to escape, it actually pushes that little flap closed so the air does not escape. Then when you're done blowing up the sleeping pad, you close the valve. I do have to mention here that in my tests, this valve on the Pariah Recharge XL actually failed. When I left it outside in the cold all day, when I came back that night and opened the valve, that flap was stuck open and a bunch of air escaped out of the sleeping pad. So Pariah Outdoor Products customer service knocked it out of the park, which I really appreciate. Next, let's talk about the valve system on the Gear Doctor's Apollo Air. It has two flaps where you can open both to open the valve completely and really dump air fast. Or to inflate the pad, you close one of those flaps and then it's a one-way valve that you can either blow air into or use the included pump sack. That's right, the Gear Doctor's Apollo Air does come with a pump sack. 
I will say that that valve system on the Apollo Air does make it harder to blow up. I feel like I have to push harder with my lungs in order to get air into this sleeping pad, but the Recharge XL definitely requires more air since it's a longer, wider, and thicker pad. And lastly, about the Gear Doctor's Apollo Air valve, I have noticed I really have to make sure that the valve is closed all the way before I walk away from the pad. There have been several times, either on camping trips or even when I was just setting the pads up for this video, that I blew it up, thought I closed the valve, walked away, and then came back several hours later to find a deflated pad. So when you're closing the valve on your sleeping pad, make sure that it is closed all the way. Next, let's talk about how big these pads are packed up. Here they are, the Recharge XL in my right hand and the Apollo Air from Gear Doctors in my left hand. You can see right there that the Gear Doctors from Apollo Air is definitely smaller, which is to be expected since it's a shorter pad, a narrower pad, and just doesn't have the insulation inside it. You would expect this to roll up a little bit tighter than the Recharge XL. But clearly, the Apollo Air from Gear Doctors packs up tighter than the Recharge XL. Nothing much else to say there. And the last thing before we get to the test results is the price. The Gear Doctors is available on Amazon for about $90 and the Pariah Recharge XL is the same price. So both of these pads cost essentially the same. They tend to fluctuate up or down five to $10 depending on where you buy them, but they're about 90 to $100. Pretty good deal for winter sleeping pads. And finally, the results of the test from sleeping on both of these pads in sub-zero conditions. First, let's talk about the Pariah Recharge XL. I don't know how else to start this off other than saying that I loved sleeping on this pad. Four inches thick, 75 inches tall, and 23 inches wide made for a super comfortable sleep. I can say that in several nights sleeping on this pad, I never felt my hip, shoulder, elbow, or anything else touch the ground through the pad. That four inches of thickness really makes a big difference in the overall comfort. This is actually the pad that I used in my last video where I tested two zero degree bags in sub-zero conditions. I knew that this pad would make me comfortable so that the pad was not an issue while testing testing different sleeping bags. And I never felt the ground sucking the heat out from underneath me. This pad kept me nice and warm and insulated from the ground, even in sub-zero conditions. Whew, it got cold last night. So the insulation and everything else that Pariah has going on in this Recharge XL makes it a very good winter sleeping pad, at least down to the low 20s, which is where I tested this sleeping pad too. I can say though that based on the comfort and warmth in those tests, I would have no problem taking this even further down than that. I can tell you that this pad was comfortable whether I was sleeping in a quilt, sleeping bag, whatever. Next up is the Apollo Air from Gear Doctors. This has been a good winter sleeping pad. In fact, I've taken it on two backpacking trips that got below zero and it has been very comfortable. But in sleeping on it on those nights, there are a few things that I've noticed. First of all, while it's not a full four inches thick like the Pariah Recharge XL or some of my other favorite sleeping pads, it is close at about three and a quarter, three and a half inches. And that is still enough thickness that even when I'm sleeping on my side or even sitting on the pad, I don't feel anything touching the ground. The other thing that I really like about it is that it is light only 17 ounces. That's a big weight savings over the Pryor Recharge XL. This one is light at just 17 ounces and that's a big deal. Now let's talk about some things that I did not like. One of my main gripes with this pad, and I brought this up in the detailed review that I did earlier, I'll put a link to that video up here, is the size. At just 72 inches long, it just isn't long enough for my six foot frame. You can see in some of these pictures that if I lay on my stomach, my feet are hanging all the way off of the pad. So that's one of my main gripes. The other thing, and I mentioned this earlier, is the sound. When I compare these two pads, this one is definitely louder especially when I'm sleeping on it with a quilt. And lastly, I'm just not convinced that the R value is really 5.2. I know that that's what they've estimated based on the laser infrared testing that they've done, but the fact that there's no insulation in the pad and they're just relying on the 40D nylon and then some of the thermal properties of the other materials used doesn't give me a lot of confidence in the insulating properties of the pad. For me, it's the Pariah Recharge XL all the way. It has an R value of 4.7, nice and thick at four inches, nice and tall at 75 inches, and just really, really comfortable. This is going to be my preferred winter sleeping pad going forward. Remember, life is better with some dirt in it. 
an important thing to you. Me, 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 me. I don't want to say that. No, I don't want to talk about that yet. I don't know how else to start about talking about math. Did I get that right? The pariah. I don't know what to do right now. This one's loud. Winter. Nope. I look like I'm doing a weird thing. Again, that four inches of thickness. Thickness. So again, that four inches of thickness. That's really hard to say. So again, that four inches of thickness. 